archaeologists are quite used to finding human remains. But sometimes, they find strange and scary burials like hybrid skeletons that look like Frankenstein's monster or vampires, pinned to the ground with wooden stakes. There is no shortage of strange and gruesome discoveries, and in today's video we will look at a few of these spoopy discoveries. Hello and welcome to Curious Media. Before starting our video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Now let's get this video started. Number 4. Witch Burial in Italy In 2014, archaeologists in Albanga, Italy, found the skeleton of a teenage girl who had been buried face down. Researchers said that burying a person in this way meant that society didn't want them or that they were seen as dangerous, possibly because of accusations of witchcraft. The Vatican's Pontifical Institute of Christian Archaeology was doing an archaeological excavation at the complex of San Calocero, which is a burial ground on which a church was built between the 5th and 6th centuries AD. It is in Albenga, along the Ligurian Riviera, in northern Italy. Stefano Roscio, who was in charge of the excavations, said that these kinds of burials were a form of punishment meant to shame the dead, and he said that this kind of find was rare. According to the research team, in the worst cases, people were buried alive with their faces down. However, this was not the case with the newly found grave. They did this because they thought that the soul left the body through the mouth. Elena Delu, an anthropologist, told Discovery News that burying the dead face down was a way to stop the dead person's dirty soul from posing a threat to the living. Number 3. Vampire Grave Unearthed In 2013, Archaeologists working at the Perpericon site in Bulgaria found the skeleton of a man who had been buried with an iron stake stuck through his chest. This was a Middle Ages ritual meant to prevent the person from turning into the undead. The coins found with the body suggest that the person died between the 13th and 14th centuries. Bulgaria has found other vampire graves before. Similar findings were made in Sozopol. In Bulgaria, the bodies of more than 100 men who had been treated by vampires have been found. All of these men were important members of society. Pagans believed that bad people could become vampires after death if they weren't stabbed in the chest with an iron or wooden rod before being buried. People thought that the rod would also keep the dead from coming out of their graves at midnight and terrorizing the living. The region's folklore includes many stories about vampires. Number 2. Skull Resembling Werewolf In October 2014, a farmer named Trey Straganov who was born in Bulgaria, says that he had found a box in the village of Novo Selo, Republic of Macedonia, that had a werewolf-like skull inside. The box was chained shut. Philip Ganev, a historian, spent time in Novo Selo while doing research for his book on the Balkan Wars. He told ancient origins about the story. When Mr. Ganev met the farmer, the farmer showed him the box with a strange skull in it. He said that the skull looks like that of a wolf, except that the head is bigger which is something only primates have. Mr. Ganev took pictures of the skull and gave them to government wildlife officials. They decided that it was probably a wolf with paget disease, which makes a skull grow and look more like a human's. Mr. Ganev said that werewolves had been a part of Balkan folklore since before recorded history. Number 1. Frankenstein Mummies In 2001, a group of archaeologists on the Scottish island of South East in the Outer Hebrides found four skeletons at an archaeological site. At first, it looked like a normal Bronze Age finds, but the researchers soon found out that it wasn't normal at all. Both the male and female skeletons were buried in a photo position. Initial tests revealed that the man died around 1600 BC and the woman died around 1300 BC. But about 10 years later, when the DNA of the bones was looked at again, Archaeologists made a shocking discovery. The two skeletons were made up of body parts from six different people, making them what archaeologists call Frankenstein mummies. The torso, skull, and neck, and lower jaw of the male skeleton all came from three different men. The female skeleton is made up of a male skull, a female torso, and the arm of a third person whose gender was not known. The skull of the female mummy is 50 to 200 years older than the torso, according to carbon dating. It looks like the mummies were made from parts of people from the same family that were put together like a jigsaw puzzle to make them look like one person. Archaeologists don't know why the bodies were mummified and then mixed with other bodies. Few other archaeologists, on the other hand, 
believe that the mixing of the remains was done to create a symbolic ancestor that literally embodied traits from more than one lineage. It is safe to say that not all archaeological discoveries are made alike. For every eerie and ghastly discovery, there are a thousand more joyful ones. But it is the ghoulish uncoverings that continue to captivate our imaginations long after they've been put on public display. What would you give to see these ancient remains for yourself? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your time. We'll see you later.